Hi, welcome to Microbiology Mentor. Today, in quick concept series, we are here to discuss yet another important topic, body fluid cultures. So body fluid cultures are requested whenever there is infection to these normally considered sterile body fluids. The infection of these normally sterile body fluids often results in severe morbidity and mortality. Therefore, a rapid and accurate microbiological assessment of these samples is important for successful patient management. It is important to discuss that although most organisms infecting these sterile sites are not difficult to cultivate, but the actual challenge lies in determining the significance of the low number of the common cell cutaneous microorganism that is often present. At the same time, with the increase or advancement in the medical science and the increased use of complicated device including the prosthetic device, increase in the therapeutic interventions where immunosuppressive therapeutic regimes and long-term care of individuals with chronic debilitating illness has resulted in an increase in the lifehood of the patient. At the same time, the likelihood of the true infections with these common cell organisms has also been increased and that is making the accurate diagnosis much more difficult. So any organism must be reported that is formal, normally found in a sterile site as a rule of thumb because it is considered to be significant. Now let's see what are the types of the body fluid that can be submitted for a culture. So it can be a joint fluid, a pleural fluid, peritoneal fluid, pericardial fluid, cul-de-sac fluid or amniotic fluid. Now let's see about the specimen collection. So for body fluid specimen, it can be collected by a percutaneous aspiration for pleural, pericardial, peritoneal, amniotic or a synovial fluid. For that, first the site is clean or disinfectant using 1 to 2 percent of tincture iodine or 10 percent solution of povidine iodine which is done to prevent any introduction of the contaminant in the specimen. After thoroughly disinfecting the site, aseptically percutaneous aspiration with a syringe and needle is done to obtain the sterile fluid. After collection, immediately it is placed in a portion of, in a, it, after collection it is immediately, it is immediately processed in a way that a portion of the fluid is inoculated in the blood culture bottle both aerobic and anaerobic and approximately 0.5 ml of the fluid is retained in syringe for further workup like gram stain as well as direct plating. So once the sample is collected, it should be immediately transported to the laboratory. At the same time, the laboratory must be alert that a sample is in the transit. In no condition, the specimen should be refrigerated because it is potentially going to kill the organism which is present by refrigeration. Then it is needed to label the specimen with patient demographic and date, time and appropriate site of collection like it should be mentioned like left knee joint fluid aspirate. At the same time, record the patient diagnosis for improved processing of the specimen. So let's see uh, some of the rejection criteria. Although uh, 
the normal sterile body fluid are usually not suggested to be reject, rejected but there are certain situations where caution must be taken at the time of processing so rejection can be there if only blood culture bottle are received a gram stain cannot be performed it should be mentioned and bottle should be processed at the same time rejection can be done at when a sample is collected prior to antimicrobial therapy for a greatest diagnostic sensitivity it should be taken care that the sample should not be submitted from any drain after they have been infused with antimicrobial agent because this will again inhibit any potential pathogen if it is present at the same time the physician should be discouraged to send sample from sterile body fluid on a swab because swab samples are least desirable sample for culture of body fluid because the chances of recovery of the microorganism from a swab is minimal because the sample the amount of microorganism can be very low now coming to the procedures how is the processing done so once the sample is received it should be processed as soon as possible by making first a record of the volume of the specimen which is received and at the same time grossly observing for color viscosity light transmitting properties and present of a clot after that few drops with few drops plates appropriately should be inoculated like blood agar plate and chocolate agar plate or in certain situation where a request for certain microorganism which are known not to grow on a routine laboratory media like in cases of legionella so special culture media should be appropriately inoculated now coming to the procedures of after inoculation so after inoculation comes the incubation step so what what should be done that the plates inoculated should be incubated preferably at 37 degree centigrade in a 5 to 10% of increased co2 concentration if if it is not possible alternatively we can use a ca2 generating system to provide proper atmosphere in cases of in ability of co2 incubator the broth both aerobic and in an anaerobic inoculated ones should be incubated at 37 degrees centigrade in an ambient air now coming to the diff, another different important step of procedure which is preparation of gram stain so the gram stain should be prepared from by one or two drops of the specimen provided on a clean slide if the specimen is grossly less turbid then it should be made on a on the slide with a heaped up smear by placing one or two drops on to fill to form a large drop without spreading the fluid after that the slide is air dried and it should be fixed with methanol and stained with a gram stain and looked for the gram stain immediately under a microscope so and if found positive the physician should be notified notified immediately because the sterile site any organism potentially should be reported immediately to the micro to the physician for invasively collected specimen refer to the positive blood culture workup for any additional test that can be performed on the direct spe specimen
now coming to the culture examination so after an overnight incubation preferably after 24 hours all the plates that are inoculated should be examined for any macroscopic evidence of the growth if no visible growth is observed on the culture media it should be reincubated and aerobic plates are red for four days for all those that were invisibly collected as a specimen and for from the drains, drains if it is collected it should be incubated for two days at the same time the bottles which are inoculated should be observed for at least five to seven days and in certain cases like in cases of brucella where the growth is slow it should be extended up to 21 days the culture if found positive with a microorganism immediately the physician should be notified about the same at the same time the culture result should be correlated with a direct gram stain and all the organism which are found should be identified using biochemical test at the same time care should be taken not to perform a complete identification if physician thinks or indicates that the organism which a, a microbiologist reports is a possible contact uh, contamination like in cases of coagulase negative staphylococci then apart from that perform antimicrobial susceptibility testing as appropriate as per the guidelines now regarding the reporting of the results when reporting negative results it should be taken care that the incubation time when the report is said it is negative should also be mentioned report the probable genus and species as soon as the preliminary test of the report is completed if however a plate contamination is suspected add a notation that unable to differentiate laboratory contamination of plate media from true infection and suggest a repeat culture of appropriately collected specimen now there are certain limitations for of performing sterile body fluid culture like false positive culture can result from the contamination of the specimen with skin microbiota which is happening quite often then false negative results can result because of low number of organism or because of prior antimicrobial exposure to the patient or because sometimes because of the fastidious nature of the infecting microorganism many cases yes the organism cannot be easily cultured like in cases of arthritis of borrelia by borrelia burgdorferi in those cases alternative test should be advised so with this I finish my talk. Thank you.